All right, so I've had a few people tell me to use this Linus Tech Tips PTM 7950 phase change pad stuff instead of thermal paste. Um, it's pretty pricey. One of these is $70 and then you got to pay for shipping and everything. It ships from Canada. So for it to get to me, it took quite a while, I think a week or two. <clears throat> but anyways, um, this is the larger size. I think they have two different sizes. In order to get free shipping, you have to spend, I think, at least $150. So because two of one of this is $70, so two is $40. So I still needed to spend at least $10 more. It's actually $69.99. So actually, it's slightly under $40. So you can't just, um, slightly under $140. So you can't just spend $10 extra. You have to pe spend another $10.02. Um, so what I did was I just got three of them. I figured if it's, if it's going to be, uh, good and it does a good job then uh why not just buy more all right i hope this is good because i don't know if i can even return this stuff and if i do return it am i gonna have to pay crazy shipping because it's going back to canada um most likely so i mean there's been a few videos where people are showing it works better so all right i guess we'll just believe them and then we'll try it out this isn't going to be a thing where i'm going to be testing the temperature difference and things like that if the computer doesn't overheat and it runs without like lagging and thermal throttling like I don't notice any performance difference then to me that's considered good um price wise okay if you get a tube of thermal paste they ver they range in price from like depending how big the tube probably like you'll pay anywhere from two dollars to like I don't know crazy ones maybe you can spend like 30 or 40 dollars um but that's like more bulk so you're gonna planning to use it more all right, anyways, let's go ahead and peel this open. So it, these tabs, as usual, are terrible. Terrible tabs. Terrible, terrible tabs. All right. Uh, but, I mean, it wasn't too bad to get this one out compared to other ones that you tear it and then it gets stuck. So here you go. Um, it comes in this orangey thing inside. Nothing else in there. Okay. They have a QR code here I didn't mention, but that's for an installation guide. But uh, it looks like all you do is just cut it to size to fit on the CPU or GPU die and then you just um, peel the layers off to separate it. So there's a plastic layer here, so it won't get dirty when you touch it. And if we flip it over, um, yep, yeah, there's plastic on this side as well. So the top, this layer has like the whole thing covered in plastic, and then this one is they just cut it, and then um, you basically would peel it here. Uh, I did hear that you should refrigerate this, <laughs> kind of separated and then made a bubble there. Um, but I heard you're supposed to refrigerate this so it peels apart easier. Um, you can see that they actually cut it to where some of it stuck out and then now it's stuck to the packaging. It's actually all around. The outside edges kind of uh, leaked out. My question is how many uses can you get from one sheet? So. Obviously, there's different size CPU, GPUs, um, dies, and things like that. This is an older AMD processor that is pretty old. It's an AMD A6 5400 series. So if you're using those crazy Ryzen ones, they can be even bigger. Some of them are kind of like a, like maybe about this size or so. I don't know. But here's like a, let's just say this is an average test size. I mean, obviously you can just go based on the size. It's 200 by 160 millimeters. Okay. So actually let me get a ruler and verify. I'm pretty sure it's pretty accurate. All right. Let me do that real quick. All right. So we got a ruler here and we're going to see this side should be about 200. Pretty much. Let's Okay. Pretty much. See, it's accurate. All right, and then this one. All right, yep, about 160. Okay, so that's accurate. All right, um, and now we're gonna see approximately how many of these you can fit. Obviously, you can just measure your thing and then you can kind of verify that way, but we can fit maybe one, two, three, four, maybe a fifth one. I mean, if you're using laptop ones, then you can do it. Um, but there's five by two, three, about four, uh, five by four. So you can do about 20 of these. So if that's the case, um, with shipping and everything, or sorry, not with shipping with tax and everything here. Um, I mean, if you pay shipping as well, then it's going to cost more, but with, um, for me, I'm basically just going to be paying tax and everything. So it's almost $80 for one sheet of this um 
So that lets you do what? Uh, 20. So it's about $4 of paste or whatever this per uh, thing of this. So I'd say if you're going to be applying this to customers' computers, um, think of it as if you do this for a living, then having this giant sheet makes sense. Um, so think of it as you're probably going to be paying about $5 per um, CPU or something like that. Okay, 4 to $5 around there. Um, if you're doing laptops, then the surface is much smaller. Again, so keep that in mind. If you're doing a laptop, then you're gonna be spending less. Um, and then also if you mess it up and you need to like peel a new one, then think, keep that in mind. So I'd say material cost wise, you're gonna be paying, um, yeah, just, just estimate it as the material is gonna cost you like $10 per computer, something like that. Um, this is really thin, so you don't wanna use it on like the, uh, I don't know what you call those things on the GPUs where they usually put thermal pads and things like that. This is mainly for the uh, CPU and GPU die where it's pushing like down really hard. All right, anyways, um, not really much else to talk about this. You saw the packaging. I am going to use it on uh, two or three computers in the next few videos. So if you're curious and you want to see me use this PTM stuff, um, look out for those videos. I also purchased for one of my customers this thermal grizzly uh gpu putty stuff to put over the i don't know what those little chips and stuff all around it are the video memory and all those other things um so we're gonna give that a try and see how that works um again i don't do performance tests on computers basically my customers are going to uh, be using their computer and if they say it's running better then that's good if they say it's running the same then I mean, I guess that's also good. And if they say it's running worse, hotter, slowing down, I mean, hotter, you never know that like if you put better cooling, more efficient cooling, it can run hotter. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna be doing it on this computer first. So I'll make a video of that. So be on the lookout for that. This is a Yoga, what is this? Uh, 716IAP7, all right. So I'm going to be making a video redoing the paste with that because the customer told me this was overheating. But again, keep in mind, there's a difference between overheating. If it's overheating, it's going to be either throttling itself or the computer is going to shut itself down from being too hot. Um, but having more efficient cooling means the computer will also see that, hey, I, like, I don't need to restrict the performance of the device. So I'm going to pump out more heat, which means it'll blow more hot air out of the sides. Um, but it gets rid of it quicker, more efficiently, so it allows it to perform at higher speeds. So keep in mind that just because it's running hotter doesn't mean it's not working right. It could mean that the computer is just being allowed to work harder because it's not running to its limits and with like thermal wise. Okay, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, be on the lookout. I'm going to be making several videos using this stuff. Um, I didn't quite take into account the price of this when I quoted the customer. I mean, uh, it's fine to take a small loss at this point. It's not like it's a huge loss. Um, but yeah, uh, this price compared to thermal paste, it is a little bit more expensive. I'd say it's not a crazy amount more expensive depending on the tube of paste you're using. Um, I'd say maybe like double the price or so. Um, but yeah, anyways. That's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys watch for these videos. And yeah, if you have any other questions or comments, let me know. Um, again, I don't really do performance tests and everything like that. So if that's what you're looking for, there's lots of videos out there doing that kind of thing. So yeah, all right. Um, but if you're interested in seeing how I take this thing apart, how I install this stuff, yeah, again, be on the lookout. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Let's drop this, bye.